Can you believe he had the audacity to say that to me? Oh, hey, Brian Sensei here. Have you ever wanted to record audio on your computer? For example, maybe you want to record an audio clip or a song, or maybe you want to record the audio from an online meeting you're having. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Audacity in order to record your computer's system audio. Let's dig in. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the Audacity download website at audacityteam.org download. You'll also find a link in the description below. Notice here we have options to download for Windows, for Mac OS, and for Linux. I'm on Windows 11, so I went ahead and chose the Windows option. And here is a download button. Okay, once you have Audacity installed, you're going to go ahead and open up the app. Just search for it in Windows. There it is, Audacity app. Okay, so here is the app. We're going to go ahead and make some settings changes so that we can record our computer audio. I'm going to go over here to the edit menu and I'm going to go down to preferences. Okay, in here, make sure you're on audio settings. For the host, we're going to change this to Windows Wasabi. 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 No, no, no. Not wasabi. Wasapi. All right, under playback, you want to make sure you've got this set to the speakers you typically use to hear any audio playback on your computer. In my case, it's this USB speaker bar. All right, under recording, your recording device needs to be changed as well. Notice here that mine is set to my Yeti stereo microphone. I'm going to change this to the same device I have under playback. So that's going to be the speakers, USB speaker bar, and notice, make sure it says loop back in parentheses. And the final setting I like to change is switching mono to stereo. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK to save those changes. All right, now we're ready to record our system audio. To start recording in Audacity, you're gonna click on the red record button here. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and get something ready to play back. First, I'm gonna arrange my windows. All right, so on the left, I have the Audacity app. On the right, I have a video in which I would like to capture the audio. So I'll go ahead and start my recording on the left, and then I'll start the playback on the right. Here we go. All right, and then I'll click stop. So you can see the sound waves right here in the recording, but let's go ahead and play it back. Boom shakalaka. Now to save this file, you're gonna go up here to the file menu and you're going to export audio. Now, what if you're in an online meeting and you want to record the participants? In this case, I'm in a Microsoft Teams meeting. What I need to do is come up here to the More menu, come down to Audio Settings, and I need to make sure that my speakers are set to the same speakers that I set up in the Audacity recording app. In this case, I have the speaker bar. And that's it. Just note that you're only going to record the audio of the other participants in the meeting. Also, make sure you follow copyright laws when it comes to using recorded audio, such as music and other artistic works. If you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button 
so you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.